what can you tell us about the meeting today? Well, we're talking about uh, energy, uh, about this new industry called AI factories and artificial intelligence. And obviously, uh, we're at the beginning of a new industrial revolution. And uh, this industry is going to be producing intelligence. And what it takes is, is uh, energy and, of course, a lot of great computer science and, and uh, uh, large computing systems that NVIDIA makes. And so, so we've, got, we've got to make sure that, that uh, everybody understands uh, the needs coming, the opportunities of it, the challenges of it, and, um, and do it in, in the, uh, the most eff efficient and uh, scalable way we can. Absolutely. Do you see the need for a federal role here in terms of federal investment in, in combination with private investment? Well, there's probably going to have to be uh, public public private yeah. collaboration in this area because because the uh, the rate of uh, growth is really quite high. Um, although although artificial intelligence uh, consumes a lot of energy to train, it also saves a lot of energy when you consume it. Uh, because ultimately, it's not about training the model; it's about using the model. And uh, whether it's in healthcare or uh, climate uh, climate technology or uh, just running the power grid, artificial intelligence has the opportunity to really save a ton of ton of energy. And so, so I think people are are uh, uh, grappling with uh, the the scale of of the opportunity ahead, and of, of course, the scale of the challenges ahead. And so, it's going to require public and private uh, collaboration. Collaboration. Yeah. Do you think the U.S. is doing enough at this point to be competitive with China and other countries? Well, this this administration is determined to uh, do the most and do do it the fastest. And that's really that speaks volumes about about uh, the reason why we have this meeting today. In the world of high stakes and higher numbers, a drama has unfolded that's catching every investor's eye. Yes, it's happening at NVIDIA, where innovation meets turbulence. As the stock market watches with bated breath, CEO Jensen Huang revealed groundbreaking news. A pesky design flaw in the cutting-edge Blackwell chip has been fixed. What's more, this thrilling recovery might ramp up NVIDIA's position in the stock race, trailing close behind Apple in market capitalization, a tantalizing contest seasoned with intrigue and anticipation. With connections like Taiwan's semiconductor to help shoulder the challenges, this saga is far from over. Hold on to your portfolios as we dive deeper into what this could mean for NVIDIA's stock, a storyline woven with technology, resilience, and the ever-present question. Should you buy NVIDIA stock now? Welcome back, everyone, to Investocracy. Is there enough money behind it at this point? Well, you know, if this country doesn't have the money, I don't see anybody else in the world that, that can possibly take advantage of this incredible new industry. And so, uh, you know, I think people are starting to, to realize that AI is not, not just a new computer science. It's a new way of doing software. It's going to, of course, revolutionize the computer industry. But it's going to create a whole new industry that sits on top of it, uh, that produces um, uh, intelligent skills and, and produces knowledge. And this industry is going to be quite large. It's going to be the, you know, hopefully the most exciting of the new industries that the world's ever seen. Can I ask you a quick question about export controls? Is there any policy, U.S. policy, that you would like to see change in order to make sure that you're able to make sales overseas? Well, export control and national security, uh, industrial resilience. Um, uh, supply chain resilience, all of those, all of those matters are really complicated, and and uh, this administration understands the nuance of it. And so, uh, we, we would like to see, uh, of course, the U.S. industries be as vibrant as possible, to export uh, American standards all over the world, and to have the rest of the world be built on on American standards. Um, uh, of course, uh, national security uh, incredibly important, and we have to safeguard all of that at the same time. And so. So the, uh, uh, this is why policymakers have such a, such a difficult job. They have to balance all of these uh, various requirements and make sure that, that uh, we have a great policy that, that somehow balances and uh, keeps all of this uh, up in the air and thriving. And so I think the, the, uh, uh, the, and the most important thing for us is just you know, make sure that we inform uh, the administration on uh, what we know about, about the technology and the industry that, that we're cultivating. Uh, and and uh, 100%, make sure we comply with the policies. Well, picture this. NVIDIA stock could nearly taste the sweet victory of reaching all-time highs when a hiccup in production disrupted its ascent. Enter Taiwan Semiconductor, NVIDIA's longtime partner in chip manufacturing, like an unexpected hero from a suspense thriller. Through sheer silicon willpower, they helped revive the stranded Blackwell chip back to health setting the stage for NVIDIA stock to dust itself off and continue its climb toward Apple's coveted market cap peak of $3.55 trillion. 
Now, speaking of stock market volatility, it's as unpredictable as trying to guess Elon Musk's next tweet. But fear not, dear viewer, because NVIDIA's narrative is a tale seasoned with optimism. Our protagonist, NVIDIA, boasts an enviable composite rating of 99 and an earnings per share rating also at a stellar 99, indicating that the stock continues to outperform across thousands of its peers. Yet, analysts at Bank of America saw beyond the current murky waters, raising the price target on NVIDIA to $190 from $165, staunchly maintaining their optimistic buy stance. And why shouldn't they? A recent report by consulting firm Bain suggests a promising trajectory, predicting that the AI hardware and software market could grow between 40% and 55% annually over the next three years. With demand for NVIDIA's next-generation graphics chips, GB200 looking to double by 2026, the future seems as bright as a stock screen in an action movie finale, flashing green. However, Challenges do come in proverbial waves. Reports suggest countries might expand existing sales restrictions on NVIDIA's AI chips. A plot twist keeping investors on edge. In early discussions, potential extensions to the Persian Gulf were whispered in financial corridors. Even so, stock market weathers have not been kind. NVIDIA shared a sharp tumble after news of possible antitrust investigations emerged coupled with Broadcom's less-than-stellar sales outlook, which weighed heavily on NVIDIA, like a damp blanket at a tech showcase. But before we go any further, if you want to keep up with NVIDIA's latest updates and keep up with the stock market's latest news, you can follow our X account. We post multiple times daily about the biggest changes and catalysts in the market, so click the follow button if you don't want to miss the newest market updates. Can I ask you one more question on tariffs? With this election, there's a lot of talk about potentially across the board tariffs of 10 to 20 percent and up to 60 percent on China. Do you have concerns about how that would impact NVIDIA's business or concerns about the policy in general? Well, I'm not very, very informed in most of that stuff. I think the, um, uh, our company, of course, uh, serves, serves industries globally. And uh, we're one of the few companies in the world that serves every single AI company in the world. And uh, uh, we're in healthcare and logistics and transportation and retail and e-tail. I mean, the, the number of industries that we serve is really quite large. And so, uh, you know, obviously all of these matters uh, are, are complicated and, and uh, requires uh, nuanced thinking from, from uh, the administration. So I, I trust that they're going to make great decisions. Yeah, absolutely. The w number one thing we tend to hear from business leaders is on stability, especially when it comes to this election. Do you have thoughts on, on supporting one candidate over the other, especially when it comes to keeping a calm, stable business environment? Uh, well, uh, you know, one of the things that, that's really important is, uh, and this affects us in export control, is just to have a, st a stable policy. Um, of course, policies have to be, has to adapt to the, to, uh, the changing uh, environment. And, and uh, in, in our world, the changing environment is, is literally real time. And, and so uh, I, I um, uh, appreciate the challenges it has on, on the administration. And, and uh, uh, meanwhile, we have to simultaneously seek and um, uh, strive for uh, American technologies to be the safest choice, to be the best choice. And uh, we want the rest of the world's uh, industries to be built on top of our of our uh, of our industry. And so, uh, stability matters. Uh, um, and of course, we have to continue to be the best, which which uh, American companies know how to do. Uh, to the extent that we have uh, stability, I think it's going to be great. Spinning this dramatic wheel back to advances, the latest quarterly earnings showed Nvidia smashing Wall Street expectations right out of the park. With sales reaching a towering $30.04 billion, earnings topped predictions at $0.68 cents per share, eclipsing the prior year's numbers in meteoric fashion. Now, for comedic relief, if stock market talks were a rom-com, NVIDIA just leaped from a will-they-or-won't-they moment to a happily-ever-after earnings report. But it's not just about chips, numbers, and the market capitalization trophy. NVIDIA's innovation has breathed life into its growth story. By pioneering AI-capable supercomputers, they've paved the way for major advancements in health, automotive, and more. It's akin to discovering gold in Silicon Valley's data streams. Meanwhile, their potential dominance in AI markets was underlined by their fundamental performance, a critical metric of Investor's Business Daily's methodology. As NVIDIA crested a 239% run in 2023, 
Simply put, the company merges fundamentals with technical prowess, creating an art masterstroke within Wall Street's bustling gallery. Even faced with possible international market standoffs, NVIDIA remains buoyed by the emerging technologies thing. That's a term used by analysts that sort of feel like an economist's X factor on the cusp of a technological renaissance. As OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft prioritize partnerships with NVIDIA, the smart money bets are hedged upon this company's continual expansion. It's intriguing how a minor design flaw could almost unseat a tech behemoth, yet here, they stand resolute. A tribute to resilience and inventive spirit. NVIDIA's CEO presentations at their recent supercomputer launch created major ripples within tech discussions across forums and tweets. As the semiconductor giant shores up its market strategy, it counsels stakeholders with assurances akin to a headline-stealing film's teaser trailer, promising action, drama, and a robust stock narrative unfolding in stunningly high definition. But before going any further, if you made it this far into the video, thank you. These videos take a lot of effort and time to make, so if you enjoyed them, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. This goes a long way in helping us grow. That said, back to the video. <laughs> Let's talk about NVIDIA because that's one, right? Again, same similar thing, right? This they hit a new high, then it tumbled all the way down. I think intraday, intraday one session, it was down to 90 bucks. Everyone said, get out, get out, get out. The story's over, yada, yada. Uh, uh, it, but it, it's come back all the way back. Where, what are you thinking here? I mean, I know you owned it in the past. Do, do you own it? Do you still want to buy it? Should people buy it? Well, we stuck to it. You know, we started into it seriously when it was about 110 bucks, and I said specifically it's going to go to a thousand and split. So yeah, we're still in it. We're still accumulating shares. I think it's tremendously undervalued. AI is one of the single largest investing themes in recorded human history. This game is still early innings and confusing the situation, Charles. Valuations that people talk about all the time do not reflect tech investing accurately. So a high PE is exactly what you're going to get when it comes to digital investment. Do you use peg ratio? Yeah, I do use the peg ratio. And again, it's, it's high, but look at the antiquated accounting recognition that is foisted upon stocks like this. So I think people are making a tremendous mistake, even though that kind of analysis is still accepted as dogma. Yeah, we should note that uh, a major firm this week said it's going to go to 190 and that their free cash flow, to your point, will rival that of Apple's. Uh, and, we also know, and we also know that the Mag 7 so far earnings season, you know, they're, they keep delivering, right? They're the ones that, in the S&P 500 that are really still delivering the earnings. And uh, I, just, I just get really confused when, when, they, when they, everyone tries to play the guessing game on tops. In this riveting tale of tech triumphs and trials, NVIDIA presents not just an investment, but an enticing chapter in the annals of stock market opportunity. Despite recent volatility, the technological prowess demonstrated places NVIDIA at pivotal market intersections. As the world steers toward an AI future, capitalizing now could ensure a stakeholder role in shaping or benefiting from that evolution. Current market positions reveal NVIDIA as acutely poised for growth, now backed by the mitigated Blackwell chip design concerns and a fervently growing AI market. The stock stands extended from its 50-day moving average, marking NVIDIA as a buy. Yet beyond numbers, the narrative tells of industry momentum, innovation, and resilience. Bold predictions signal a promising frontier, forecasting expansive adoption across sectors hungry for AI integrations. Could this be a strategic addition to the savvy investor's portfolio? Perhaps, as NVIDIA's evolving story could herald ground floor access to forthcoming industry peaks. So, what do you believe lies ahead for NVIDIA in this ever-dynamic tech landscape? As the markets hum with anticipation, share your thoughts on how NVIDIA might navigate through the quadricore challenges and seize the risks turned opportunities mantle. The stock market is indeed a character-rich drama, one where you could be a pivotal part of the narrative. Wouldn't you agree? And finally, if you would like to know what companies like NVIDIA have been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen.